We begin with news coming in uh, from the Congress party, which uh, is expected to anoint Rahul Gandhi, uh, nominate Rahul Gandhi as uh, its prime ministerial nominee ahead of the general elections. The Congress General Secretary Digvijay Singh, however, has differed with the general view in the party that uh, the time is ripe to nominate Rahul. In an exclusive interview to headlines today's National Affairs Editor Javed Ansari, Digvijay said there's still no need to name the prime ministerial candidate. I've always held the view that uh, in a parliamentary democracy, there is no need to declare a prime ministerial candidate. It is ultimately the political ideology, the political programs, and the <coughs> the uh, issues which uh, the party takes up and goes to the election. Uh, as it is already, we have Mr. Sonia Gandhi as our Congress president. But obviously, she will not be prime minister. She is twice reduced. Agreed. But let the first the people of this country elect us. Why, why are you all prejudging the issue? All this Rahul versus Modi, Modi versus Kejriwal, Kejriwal versus Rahul, all these things are media hype. These are the, these are the issues which keep the media very excited. But the fact remains that you can't talk in a parliamentary democracy until, unless you get the mandate. So, uh, we don't have such thing as a sh shadow prime minister here. We, so, therefore, I think <coughs> the shadow prime minister is always from the opposition party. And the opposition leader is, is not the shadow prime minister. They have declared their prime minister candidate that uh, it's not Sushma Swaraj, but uh, Mr. Narendra Modi. As far as we are concerned, we uh, as a political party are not in the habit of declaring our prime minister candidate. But <clears throat> if Congress President strongly feels that someone has to be uh, declared as a prime minister candidate, then the obvious choice is Mr. Rahul Gandhi. Interesting comments there from Digvijay Singh ahead of the 17 January meeting of the Congress party. Remember, many insiders of the Congress uh, have told reporters that that's when they expect Rahul Gandhi to be nominated the prime ministerial nominee of the party. Javed Ansari, who was interviewing Digvijay Singh, uh, is now live with us for more on this. Uh, Javed, uh, Digvijay Singh is seen as being close to Rahul Gandhi, one of his advisors over the past uh, nine or ten years. Uh, and it's interesting that his comments come at a time just before his expected nomination. Yes, it's very interesting what Digvijay Singh had to say, but he underlined the fact that if the Congress party went ahead, whoever the Congress president went ahead and, and declared its prime ministerial candidate, he and every member of the Congress party would leave no, unstern, no stone unturned to ensure that he or she is elected prime minister. He, however, added that he, in principle, believes that the Congress party should not declare its prime ministerial candidate ahead of the elections because this, the, given our parliamentary, given the way our elections are conducted, it's not a, it's, it's not a presidential kind of election between two candidates, but between two parties, and therefore, in principle. He was not in favour of the idea of uh, nominating a prime ministerial candidate well ahead of the elections. And the other side to this, of course, is that uh, there's been there's been a clamour among other members of the Congress, uh, Mani Shankar Iyer among them, for example, but, but several others who say it is time for the Congress to change that practice. Well, indeed, it is. There, there are lots of people, not just Mani Shankar yeah. Iyer, but there are lots of people who believe that the time has come for Rahul Gandhi to step forward and for the Congress president to declare him as the Congress Party's Prime Ministerial candidate for the 2014 elections. And Rahul Gandhi himself, of course, has, has not made any statements. It's unlikely that, that he'll say anything ahead of the 17 January meeting. Uh, but uh, with his sister now coming into the picture, uh, at least as a backroom strategist, uh, there, is a, there is a sense that the Gandhi Parivar, the Gandhi family, is uh, already looking ahead at the two of them taking, uh, taking the party forward. Yeah, but I'm not so sure if Priyanka Gandhi will have, uh, is uh, inclined to play uh, a full-fledged role in politics. This is what she's doing is is not new. I'm not at all surprised by it. I'm aware of the fact that she's been helping out her brother as well as her mother for the past ten years. This yeah. is this is nothing new. This is not a new development. Yes, now she's she's attending. She's begun attending meetings, but she's always been there as a backup support as far as the mother and her brother have been are concerned.